this video. It is raining pretty heavily here, but it's gorgeous and I absolutely love it. This week we are continuing for part three of our Melbourne trip, the third and final edition, I promise. You guys had to tag along for our cafe crawl through Melbourne. It was fantastic, one of the funnest days I've had in Melbourne so far. We'd love to hear about other cafes that you know of in Melbourne or Brisbane or throughout Australia that are your favorite, and maybe we'll add them to our cafe crawl in the next location we go to. So I am heading home for the holidays. I am so excited. It has been over nine months of being in Australia. It's actually been pretty interesting trying to get into the Christmas spirit around here um, when it's 30 degrees every day and sunny. Although I'm going home for the holidays, this won't interfere with our weekly video posts. I will be coming back in the new year and will hopefully be able to post a video of that trip. But in case I don't see you before then, have a fantastic holiday. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you next time. Good morning. So today is going to be a really exciting day. Uh, Greg got the day off of work, so we're just going to be wandering around Melbourne. Uh, the goal is to do a cafe crawl. So we're just going to start in a well-known cafe, um, have a few coffees, maybe some tea, maybe a little snack, and then from there we're going to ask the people who work there um, where else they'd suggest we go. And the goal is to just hop from place to place, see some of the best, most well-known, best hidden, um, little cafes in Melbourne. Melbourne is super well known for its cafe culture. Starbucks didn't even survive here, so we're hoping to find some of the best stuff we can. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Our first cafe of the day was Kirk's Wine Bar, which clearly serves more than just breakfast, but their menu was surprisingly impressive, so we decided to check it out. Their coffee was good, with beans that had been darkly roasted and nice presentation. And the food was definitely a 10 out of 10. My Earl Grey tea was tasty too. The perfect way to start a day of exploring cafes. Although the plan was to get recommendations from each cafe, we had a second one in mind already, so we headed there to see if it lived up to its reviews. Brother Baba Boudin is a small coffee shop with some innovative interior design going on. Greg ordered his usual cappuccino, and I went for a lemongrass and ginger tea this time. The cappuccino was beautifully presented and poured, and Greg said it was made perfectly. The bean was a little fruitier than he was used to, but I gave the place a 10 out of 10 for a great atmosphere, friendly staff, and it got major cool points for its layout and decor. So we just finished up at Brother Baba Boudin. Brother Baba Boudin? Boudin? I don't know. We just finished up at our second coffee shop, and the lady there actually gave us an entire list of places to go. So we're gonna go check out her top one. She said it is the absolute best coffee in the city. Um, we'll have to see how Greg likes it. I really wish I liked coffee so I could compare, but we'll have to see how it goes. The first cafe on the list was Little Rogue, but unfortunately it looked like the road was closed as well as everything on it. Instead we decided to check out the second cafe on the list, Patricia's. It took us a few minutes to find this one because like many cafes in Melbourne, it was well hidden and lacked any exterior signage. Although busy, the atmosphere was clean and modern and it smelled delicious. The staff were super fun and definitely get the friendly staff award of the day. Greg enjoyed his coffee as it was less fruity than the previous cafe and I got to try a tea made from the coffee plant. It was an intriguing concept and flavor for sure. Overall, this was my favorite cafe so far. They even suggested more cafes to visit. Full of coffee and ready for some real food, we hopped in a cab to Fitzroy and Brunswick Street. Naked for Satan is a bar that was suggested to me the first time I was in Melbourne. The perfect place to take a break from the coffee and grab some lunch. They serve pinchos, which are little appetizers on toothpicks. A fun system and it allows us to try a little bit of almost everything. This is called the hot devil. It's supposed to be a warm apple cidery cinnamony kind of beverage and it comes with cinnamon sticks which I think are supposed to stir. Yeah, so it's like an apple cider. Really good. On my way to the bathroom, I got to explore the rest of the bar a bit, and was once again quite intrigued by their choice of decor. Fitzroy is a beautiful suburb of Melbourne with a bohemian reputation full of bars, restaurants, and street art. We wanted to check one more cafe off our list, so we headed to Everyday Coffee. It was once again an understated exterior with a cozy interior that let us escape the rain. This time we opted for some dessert, and I gave in and got a mocha. 
It was good, but I still would have preferred a lot less coffee and a lot more chocolate. Greg had some work to do back at the hotel, so I headed down to the laneways to check one more thing off my list. So along with its cafe culture, Melbourne's also really known for its laneways and all the graffiti and stuff that's in them. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to check some of those out and show you things like the ACDC lane um, and just the really, really impressive artworks that are everywhere in the city. ready to go back to Brizzy today. I'm gonna go grab some breakfast before heading to the airport. Actually, we're gonna go back to the same cafe we went to on the first day, the one at Her Majesty's Theater. Greg thought the coffee there was absolutely wonderful and the food was really good, so we figured why not. Last night we went to see Mamma Mia. It was a great, great show. Um, I'm a bit of a musical theater geek, but it was my first time introducing it to Greg and he loved it. He loved the music already, so Adding it into a musical just made sense. Our cafe crawl yesterday was so much fun. Um, everyone was actually really into it. Anytime we told anyone what we were doing, they gave us like a full list of places to go. So out of the, I think there was nine or 10 on the list, we ended up going to I think five cafes in total. Um, the middle one was actually a bar restaurant slash cafe, uh, Naked for Satan, but they were really, really good. Um, I even, work myself up to having a mocha, not quite a coffee, but a mocha. Um, and I think Greg had his fill of coffee for like the month. Um, but it was a lot of fun, everyone was really happy and helpful and they were really excited by what we were doing. So the goal is that the next few times we're in Melbourne we'll be able to check the rest off of the lists um, because there's a lot more. <laughs> Melbourne has so many cafes. <laughs> 